Now in this problem, we need to determine the Cartesian equation of each of the given curve. Now here, we are given the parametric form of the curve. That means, if we start with problem number 1, here x is dependent on the parameter theta, so is the, uh, uh, so is the y value. So let's do one thing. We will first begin by getting, uh, we'll try to get rid of the parameter theta here. All we have to do is take x equals to 5 cosine theta. And we are going to square both sides to get x squared equals to 25 times cosine squared theta. Then we are going to take, let's just be equation number 1. Then we are going to take y equals to 5 times sine theta. We are going to square both sides to get y squared equals to 25 times sine squared theta. That will be equation number 2. So let's add equation number 1 and equation number 2. On the left hand side, we will get x squared plus y squared. And on the right hand side, we take 25 as the common factor. So 25 times cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. Now, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, that's an identity. And it has a standard value of 1. So that means this value will be simply equals to 25. Which means that we have successfully parameterized x equals to 5 cosine theta and y equals to 5 sine theta as x squared, so let's write it down. So the Cartesian form will be x squared plus y squared equals to 25. Now let's go to the second problem. Now in problem number 2, we have x equals to h plus r cosine theta. So here also we have a theta dependence. So we can rewrite it as x minus h equals to r cosine theta. We're going to square both sides to get x minus h whole squared equals to r squared cosine squared theta. This will become equation number 1. Then we will take the uh, y value. The y is given by k plus r sine theta. So we get y minus k whole squared equals to r squared sine squared theta. So this is going to be number 2. So if we add equation 1 with equation 2, then we're going to get x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared and this will be equals to the radius squared because sine squared theta added to cosine, cosine squared theta that will be 1. That's an identity. So we have obtained the Cartesian equation of the second problem. So that's x minus h whole squared added to y minus k whole squared equals to r squared. Now let's do number 3. Now let's work with problem number 3. So here we are given x equals to negative 2 plus 3 cosine theta. Now this can be also expressed as x plus 2 whole squared equals to 9 cosine squared theta. And then we have y. y is given by 3 plus 3 sine theta. We have y minus 3 whole squared that will be equals to 9 times sine squared theta. So if we add them, that means if we add x plus 2 whole squared with y minus 3 whole squared, then this should be equals to, we have 9 will be the common factor. This will get multiplied to cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is 1. Now this is going to be the Cartesian equivalent of the given equation. So we have x plus 2 whole squared plus y minus 3 whole squared equals to 9. Now let's come to the fourth and the final problem. We have x equals to negative 3 plus 2 sine theta. Now, this can be also expressed as x plus 3 equals to 2 times sine theta. Squaring both sides, we get x plus 3 whole squared equals to 4 times sine squared theta. This is going to be our first equation. Then we have y equals to 4 plus 2 cosine theta. So, using the same steps, we get y minus 4 whole squared equals to 4 times cosine squared theta. So this is going to be equation number 2. So adding 1 and 2, we get the final Cartesian equation. We have x plus 3 whole squared plus y minus 4 whole squared will be equals to 4. So therefore, the Cartesian equation of the given parametric equation will be x plus 3 whole squared plus y minus 4 whole squared equals to 